hi guys welcome back to another video in today's video stash shopping so random these items i just picked up this morning and threw them on i didn't think about it i just went with the flow so if you want to see how i got this look the products i use and all of that make sure you keep on watching but first if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell the bell notification button so you're notified every time i post new videos and i'm out of here peace out bye y'all All right, guys, I have about 30 minutes to get ready this morning for work. I really need to start waking up like my normal time that I do when school is in because before you know it, school will be have started back and I'm going to be miserable. <laughs> so probably starting next week, I'll probably try it. I'm going to take some of my Peter Thomas Roth and my blur and my X blur for primer. Yeah, I'm going to be miserable if I don't start, you know, trying to wake up or going to sleep like I'm supposed to during school because whew, and I got too relaxed and too happy with the with the schedule now. <laughs> mm. I'm like, oh my god, school is about to start back really soon. Like what was summer? Gosh. Where did the summer go? And then a little bit of Peter Thomas Roth and shake it up a little bit. Today's face is a stash shop. And also I need to get out the door because I got like 30 minutes. Because I've been slow dragging and watching Family Matters. <clears throat> instead of getting ready for work. So I got 30 minutes to do my makeup, get dressed, and pack my lunch and get out the door. Well, let's see what we can come up with. Y'all know I like both of these primers. I'm always going to use two primers. If you're new to my channel, hi, because I got a lot of new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, I'm always going to use two um, primers. One, the NYX is mainly because it has like SPF 30, so I use that as my sunscreen. And then any other primer I use is like mainly to blur my pores. Or if I feel like I want to be hydrated, I'll use a hydrating primer. So it all depends on the time of day or uh, what day for me. Really nothing, you know. Well, I think I'm going to do brows last, but I'm going to do eyes first. I'm going to take this, uh, what is this, P. Louise Acid Ring. It's an ec ecstasy. It's a base. It's a purple base, basically. Instead of saying all that. Just, it's a purple face. <laughs> it's like this. Found this in my stash. Because I'm going to try to do a little light little purple shadow. Since I got a purple shirt today. Put some on my nose. Primer. Since I got a little purple shirt today. One time, like, I would use a base all the time. But y'all see recently, I just been... I'm going to take this brush. I don't got time. I've been just using my uh, e.l.f. concealer. So let's see. Let's see, look how pigmented that is. And I, I didn't even say that I was going for this color base, but I figure even if I put like a light color purple, like it'll allow the purple to pick up. And I'm ever so lightly putting this down. I, I don't know. I haven't been on Pete Louise's uh, website in like months, if not a year or so. To see if they had anything new. You know, when they first came out with the eyeshadow base, they were the newest thing popping. But I haven't really heard a lot from them recently. I follow one young lady here on YouTube, and she stays, like, I want to say Australia. Don't get me wrong. But she always does her makeup with some type of P. Louise product. And she knows how to do some makeup. You hear me? She really does. Just a little bit, very lightly on the brush, just to make sure my lid and stuff is covered. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is not something that I use often. I found this El this Ulta Single Eyeshadow in Plum Pop, which is some type of purple. I'm going to take this around the edges, around the crease part. 
you know, like nothing came out on this brush. Let me see. <laughs> I be really look like I'm wasting my time with this shadow. Didn't nothing pick up on this shadow. I mean, on this brush. So I guess that's a a way you kind of know there's something no, not what I thought it was. So maybe it's just light. Let's see. Let me just try to keep it in the purple family today. Yeah, it's coming up, but I, I guess I expected it to be dark. But something's coming. I just want something to blend out the edges. Y'all see some? Y'all let me know. All right, we're going to put a little sparkly little purple shade down. Nothing in that palette. No, I probably got one in this palette. I don't really like to use it because you guys can't get it. Uh, Car Beauty, Beauty Supply Store, Metamorphosis Palette. Maybe it's in stock. I just haven't been on there lately. And I'm going to take this purple on my finger and put that on the lid. I need to dig more deeper into this palette because it really has some pretty colors and that's how the color looks. Just a very lilac color. The reason why I decided with the purple base, because one, it was dark. If you put down like a darker base, your light shadows will pop more. I know we always, in my head too, sometimes I think a lighter base, my shadow's gonna pop pop more but no if you put down a darker base on dark skin like your light eyeshadows shadows is gonna pop a little bit more I've been loving using my finger for uh, glitter shades recently I don't know it just I just started it one day and just kept going with it Let me just make sure everything blended out. And as you can see, we got a little eyeshadow look. I'm trying to take my crease brush. Just so the glitter. I never want the glitter to take over my look. I just want to look like the glitter just fell magically on my eyelids. And that's how we ended up here. Because <laughs> the glitter fell magically on my eyelid. I'm going to take some of this eggplant looking color. And immerse and we're gonna use that for liner I'm in a purple type mood today let's see where it gets us can y'all see something a little bit This is something instead of black. That's the title of the video. Another color instead of brown or black today. Cause I know I can use I can use those colors. I need to start using colors that I'm afraid of. And this is just to smoke out the lash line, really. Not I wouldn't say a wane or anything. Let me see something right quick. Let me see how it looks. Doing purple brows for work too much. I fill it in with a darker shade. First, we about to see how it looked though. <laughs> see, that's what that's what happened when you stash shop. They don't look too purple, do they? Mm -mm, we're wearing this today. It's my Friday. So we good. Ain't nobody be looking at me hard like that anyway. Mm, what y'all think? No, no. Girl. Thank you. 
It is what it is. At the end of the day. <laughs> like the reality, um, the reality show people like to say they love to say that. Because at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day. You're like, girl, at the end of the day, what? Please get on with this conversation. Uh-oh. I made that a little too too deep. Too thick. I don't need my tail to be that thick. Can y'all see that tail? <laughs> we'll clean it up with some concealer. I cannot find my dog on um, LA Girl Fawn. And y'all know I just had it the other day while doing a drugstore makeup. I'm going to take Toffee. This is Toffee. I just, and it was a new one. And it's the ghost that stole my makeup. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a minute right there because I don't want to mess up while it's too, too wet and then mess up the eyebrows. So today we're going to use our MAC uh, Studio Fix Pen Foundation NC50 and NC47, NC50 for foundation and NC40 to highlight with. This is one of my favorite MAC foundations, even though I don't talk about it a whole lot. I try not to use it a whole lot, first of all, because y'all know how that can go. Oh. I, oh, no, no, no. It's time for me. I gotta ask Amber, where's my brushes? Because I thought no more about it after I took it to her. Where's my brushes? Oh, I'm gonna just take this. I need something to. This is one. Okay. Oh, this okay. I just need something to apply it with. And then blend it out with a Shop Miss AF4 brush. Shop Miss A, guys, I usually, when you see me using a brush, 99% of the time is from Shop Miss A or Shein. Chimu, I haven't ordered from them in probably like six or seven months. So I'm just going to say Shein or Shop Miss A. This foundation is a beautiful. This is a beautiful vacation, easy to travel with foundation. And you can build it up, light coverage, use it as concealer, use it as a foundation. You don't have to do too much. Like, I think this is a perfect. I totally forgot about this one. Not forgot about it, but I have. it hasn't been in my vision, my line of vision in quite some time. And when that happens, y'all know what happens when that happens. It can get lost in the sauce. All right, let's blend out this eyeshadow, which, knowing me, I don't have no nothing to blend it out with. Let me try this. Hopefully, I don't have you know, crazy color on it. I kind of like doing my eyes like this <laughs> so that I can blend a little better and not get it on the brow. Uh, I really just want, I need to do that. Because that tail was, I'll go back over it with my eyebrow brush. Because that tail was too thick. I'm going to wipe the eyebrow brush off just a little 
so it's not thick. Yeah, that's better. It's that one. That tail is thick. They don't look, my brows don't look too purple. Yeah. Just take a random blending brush. Because, you know, usually most people clean up their brows before they do their eyeshadow. I could do either way. So just take a blending brush and make sure everything is still blended. Making sure that liner is smudged on the lash line too. Alright. NC 47. What a highlight. Make sure you lock this. Otherwise, all your good product is going to come out and you're going to be mad. I love anything that I can use as a foundation and a concealer. It's going to let me have control over the product. Not the product got control over me. I'm learning that. I want control. I want the product to overtake me. Love contour. Bronze. Bronze. I love bronze. Put on my lip primer. Because I got the multitask today. And at this point, we got probably about 15 more minutes to do everything. Okay. All right, real good. Then we're going to blend out the bronzer first and then the concealer. And I'll speed through this because you guys have seen me do it. How many videos I got? <laughs> over a thousand times. <laughs> it's, over, it's over a thousand videos on my channel. So I'm quite sure you have seen me do this more than 900 times. <laughs> we'll say that. Oh, this feels like a butter. This feels so nice on the skin. It feels like nothing is on my skin at all. And a little bit of Sasha, which I don't know why I can't find the top of Sasha. Let's do something. Where there's a will, there's a way. Push it in real good. We gotta know what we're doing. We're pushing it in there. Push it in there. Take some of this lip liner from Wet n Wild and don't be a prune. It's a purple shade. Let's see if it's short purple on me. Oh, go na na. Told y'all, I wasn't doing a lot of brown now. I'm trying. Pay for effort. I wanted to cover like most of my lips, but y'all know I'm going to put a gloss there. Put this liner because I'm going to use that again. Some of my one size top shade bronzer. Top shade that's light in the pan, dark enough for me when I put it on. Okay. 
And the good thing about the MAC uh, foundation pen is you don't have to set that one either. It's a self-setting one. You can if you want to. If you feel like a little bit more secure when you set your foundation. But I'm just telling you, you don't have to. I'm going to take this Y505 only because it's in front of me. By Makeup Forever. And we're going to lightly set it. Just so I can show the people. Just lightly. This is what you want to do when you're not really sure. I know. Y'all know I normally use my no color powder. But if you're like really not sure how your foundation is going to wear through the day. You just want to lightly put your brush in there. Like it's barely picking up very little product. If you feel like more secure with just having set everything. Alright. All right, spray. I'm gonna throw on lashes and we'll come back and do lips. Cause all I have to do is put on a gloss at this point. Make sure the face is sprayed real good. It is pretty, I love purple. Okay, do that. Okay guys, we made it with a little over five minutes to spare. My shirt is not buttoned. I'm going to have to get somebody at work to button it for me because it's not buttoned. Okay. I'm going to take this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Amber, which is a new shade. I totally was in the stash this morning and it was not playing. I came in the makeup room this morning, thought of the top I had on, and I'm like, it is what it is. How does that feel? They still look plummy. Yeah, I know I can mess up a lip. Now, why y'all follow me up? I just feel like I got a pout. Like a, yeah. God. Really? Yeah. A peachy, plummy look. I'm good to go. Y'all don't always get lipstick right there. That's not a mystery. All right, guys. This is the completed stash shop look. That MAC foundation. Thumbs up. If you have never, ever tried that foundation, if I had to tell you like one foundation to try from MAC, it would be that Studio Fix Pen Foundation. But yeah, this is the completed look. I just feel like it makes my skin look so fresh, so still skin-like. And that's what I love. Y'all yeah, know that's what I love. If you enjoyed today's video, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a whole lot. And I'm out of here. Peace out. Bye, y'all.